Fixotropic assessment of some enhanced oil recovery used polymers. Abstract experimental study of fixotropic behavior for xanthan and alkyl flood polymers solutions and their emulsions with crude oil were studied by using RioStress RS100. The fixotropic behavior was studied over a wide range of polymer concentrations, two concentrations of crude oil, and two different types of polymers. The alkyl flood aqueous solutions show fixotropic behavior over the examined range of concentrations. The experimental measurements of the area under the upward curve and the downward curve improve slightly with alkyl flood concentration up to 103 ppm and strongly beyond that concentration. The availability of crude oil within the alkyl flood aqueous solutions increases the real gram profiles and therefore affects the hysteresis area. The addition of crude oil into the alkyl flood solutions reverses their behaviors to anti-fixotropic in comparison with solution behaviors. The other aqueous solutions of xanthan gum display fixotropic behavior over the examined range of concentrations. The addition of the crude oil into the xanthan solutions causes a significant rise of the fixotropic rheograms. The variations between the ramp up and ramp down curve steadily decreases with the addition of crude oil, and therefore the fixotropic area declines with more addition of the crude oil droplets phase. Both aqueous solutions of alkyl flood and xanthan exhibiting fixotropic profiles in which the ascending curves are positioned above the descending curves. For lower concentrations aqueous solutions, both solutions display almost similar fixotropic rheogram curves. However, for high concentration of 1000 ppm, the aqueous solution of AF1235 exhibits higher fixotropic rheogram behavior than sigma gum. Keywords, xanthan, alkyl flood, crude oil, emulsion, fixotropic. 1. Introduction. Polymers are used widely in the enhanced oil recovery to alter the flow specifications and conditions of the aqueous solution to boost movement ratio, removal effectiveness, and rise oil quantity rates, Sherman, 1970. Enhanced oil recovery, EOR, is a recommended method to harvest almost half of the presence crude oil, which cannot be removed by the traditional methods. The injection of polymer liquid mixture to an oil well generates what we term oil polymer emulsion, i.e., the existence of crude oil droplets distributed inside the aqueous continuous liquid phase. Polyacrylamide, PA, and polysaccharides biopolymer are the two types of polymers that are being widely utilized in the polymer flooding phase, K. Janixson ETAL, 2008, Samantha ETAL, 2010. The rheological characteristics of these emulsions are essential in the production of crude oil by polymer solution. The PA polymer is generally employed in recent applications such as coagulation, fluctuation damping agent and in an EOR, Durst ETAL, 1981, Flu and Selen, 1993. The PA can be prepared through the polymerization of the acrylamide material. The xanthan gum is a polysaccharide material and can be involved in numerous industrial processes such as nutrition, drugs, and EOR, Kong and Pettit, 1993, Spears and Tung, 1986. Many experimental studies on the rheological behaviors of the PA aqueous solutions have been reported in the literature. Some examples of these are Goni ETAL, 1981, and Chong and Darby, 1983, studied the mechanical degradation of PA aqueous solution. Lee and McCarthy, 1995, examined the pipeline's movement activities, Dupuy ETAL, 1994, investigated the flow characteristics of PA and glycerol mixture and they reported time dependence viscosity profile. A. Potty ETAL, 1987, considered the existence of saline on the rheological properties of the PA solution. Shin and Cho, 1993, examined the influence of temperature on the PA aqueous solution. Xanthan gum used widely as a biopolymer in the oil recovery processes, Riles, 1988. Xanthan gum aqueous solutions display pseudoplastic characteristics with superior suspending capabilities. Thus, xanthan solutions utilized commonly in many applications such as make UPS, nutrition, medicines and EOR, Sutherland, 1996. Many investigations on the xanthan solutions have been listed such as Whistler and Bemiller, 1997, reported sturdy pseudoplasticity behavior for the xanthan solutions owing to the creation of molecular collections with the shape of rigid rod. Millis and Renato, 1979, found the xanthan gum would form helical assembly in the well-arranged case and thicken the liquid mixture making it one of the firmest biopolymers, Coviello ETAL, 1986. Many investigations are available on the emulsions flow characteristics studies for Newtonian continuous phase, Sherman, 1970, Plegway ETAL, 1986, Pal and Rhodes, 1989. Limited numbers of flow behavior studies have been found on oil emulsion of non-Newtonian continuous liquid, Han and King, 1980, Pal, 1992, Ganom, 2003. Sosa Herrera ETAL, 2008, inspected the flow characteristics of 30% sunflower oil emulsion and gum mixtures at room temperature. In the absence of gum, the oil emulsions behaved in a Newtonian manner. Conversely, a non-Newtonian behavior was reported when a little of gum was added to the oil mixture. Originally the term of fixotropy was used to display the rescindable variations of gel sole activities due to the mechanical effect at the same temperature, i.e. solid liquid transition. Presently, the fixotropy demonstrates the continuous reduction of high viscous gel flow resistance condition and the following recapture of the low viscous sole flow resistance at stationary condition, Mewis, 1979. Fixotropy phenomenon is commonly reported for microarrangement solutions and it indicates the degree of the alterations take places from one microarrangement situation to a new situation and back to original. These alterations due to the structure disturbance reform cycles under the influence of stress non-stress conditions, which leads to fluid viscosity variations over a certain time from one position to a new one. One of the suggested scheme to address the fixotropic conduct from the real gram profile is the hysteresis cycle, Chang and Evans, 1965. The hysteresis cycle embraces of the area enclosed among the arising shear rate profile, i.e. the ascending curve, and the plunging shear rate profile, i.e. the downward curve. This bounded region is termed the fixotropic area. The opposite conduct can be found also and it is identified by anti-fixotropic manners where shearing elevates the short-term buildup instead of disruption impact of the dispersed elements, Barnes, 1997. For the anti-fixotropic behavior, the downward profile will be located overhead the upward profile presenting adverse fixotropic area, Kawashima ETAL, 1991. This study emphasizes on the fixotropic behavior comparison for the two commonly used commercial polymers and their emulsions with crude oil using controlled rate rheometer. These polymers are polyacrylamide, i.e. alkyl flood polymer, and polysaccharides biopolymer, i.e. xanthan gums. This investigation examined different concentrations of crude oil, alkyl flood, and xanthan gums. Two materials and experiments. 2.1 materials. 
Xanthan Gumma Sigma was employed for this study from Sigma Aldrich Canada LTD, Oakville, Ontario L6H6J8, Canada, with product number G1253 with name of Sigma. Sigma is a white to tan colored powder and employed in non-food uses such as a thickener and rheology control agents. The aqueous solutions of this material was obtained by moderate circulation of the added powder in 0.25 liter of warm distilled water to achieve the necessary concentration. Since the xanthan solution is biodegradable and to prevent the bacterial growth, 1.0 gm formaldehyde was added and the aqueous solutions were stored at 4 OC until use. Alco flood polymer of AF1235 from Civis Specialty Chemicals, Bradford, West Yorks, England, was used in this study. The water-soluble alco flood material of AF1235 was delivered in a white granular powder form. Alco flood material is a high molecular weight polyacrylamide copolymers. AF1235 is suggested for low-medium permeability reservoirs with bulk density of 800 kg M3 and intrinsic viscosity equals 12. The AF1235 aqueous solutions was obtained by adding a certain weight of AF1235 to 0.25 liter of warm distilled water. Sufficient time was allowed to reach the status of complete dissolution without exterior agitation to prevent any mechanical effect on the polymer network. A North Sea crude oil supplied by Shell Canada Limited was used in all experimental investigation. The crude oil viscosity equals 7.16 mPa at 40 OC, and density is 880.6 kg M3 at 15 OC. Triton X100 from Sigma Aldrich Canada Limited with a specific gravity of 1.07 was utilized as an emulsified agent. An emulsified material was needed to obtain the crude oil polymer emulsions. In general, an emulsified material is generally added into oil aqueous phase system to decrease the interfacial tension of the oil aqueous solution and to stabilize the presence of the oil droplets phase within the aqueous continuous phase, Sherman, 1983. 2.2 Experiments The main focus of the current work is to examine the fixotropic activities of different aqueous xanthan and alco flood material solutions and the emulsions of these solutions with crude oil by Rheostress RS100 rheometer. Experimental results of fixotropic were completed through organized shear rate approach. The RS100 was automated to perform the investigational test comprised of three sets test. At the beginning of each test, the rheometer was gradually increased from 0.15 to 700 S1 shear rate to establish the ascending curve by recording the stresses and the shear rates. For the next set, the RS100 was operated at 700 S1 for the whole damage of the sample. The last set, the rheometer was assigned shear rate from 700 to 0.15 S1 to form the descending turn. Each set was last two minutes only. For the consistency purposes, a particular test were tried three times of the equal concentration. The approval acceptance of this reiteration process was approximately plus or minus 2%. This study tested 0 to 104 ppm of polymer addition, 25 and 75 by volume percent crude oil addition, and two polymers. Crude oil polymer mixture emulsions were arranged using crude oil, polymer liquid solution, and blending medium called emulsifying agent. Triton X100 was added as mixing agent to form stable emulsion. Polymer aqueous solution was formed by dissolving certain polymer into a distilled water. Then a slow addition of oil to the prepared polymer liquid solution with 1% by volume of Triton X100. The existence of an emulsifier medium into the crude oil polymer emulsion is essential to accomplish a longer stable emulsion and to inhibit the merger mechanism of the oil droplets medium. The fixotropic investigation of xanthan and alco flood solutions and their oil emulsions were accomplished utilizing Rheostress RS100 under controlled shear rate mode. An aquatic tank associated to the RS100 to keep the operated temperature of the RS100 machine at 22 OC temperature. The shear rate shear stress results were acquired employing cone and plate device with 4O of cone angle, 35 mm of cone diameter, and 0.137 mm gap. Three results in discussion. Some of the injection liquids and emulsions of crude oil in the EOR are exposed to different steps of loading, pushing, and pipeline passages. Consequently it is useful to examine the fixotropic behavior of these aqueous solutions and their emulsions of some EOR polymers such as alco flood and xanthan gums. Due to the imposed stimulus in terms of the applied shear rate, the fixotropic material display time function profile results from the physical arrangement changes on the molecular scale. The viscosity of the examined sample reflects the molecular structure conditions in terms of structure status condition. And the enforced shear rate. This relationship can be presented by equation 1. The rate of the structure and arrangement alterations, equation 2, due to rupture at high shear influence and rebuilding up at low shear impact. Thus, equations 1 and 2 can be used to demonstrate the fixotropic behavior. For the time-dependent response, the upward and downward cycles form an area A of units pa slash s. The fixotropic measurement of energy slash volume indicates the amount of energy per unit volume of material to break down the associated arrangement. 3.1 Fixotropic behavior of alco-flood aqueous solutions and crude oil emulsions. Figure 1 displays the behavior of shear rate versus shear stress for different additions of alco-flood polymer. Figure 1 shows the ascending and descending cycles reported for the 103 and 104 ppm concentrations of AF1235 as typical examples of the alco-flood polymer solutions. The low and high polymer concentrations of AF1235 exhibit fixotropic activities, i.e. the upward profiles are located overhead the downward profiles. Furthermore, the alco flood polymer concentration shows a major impact on the Rheograms conduct, namely the more addition of material yields higher Rheograms curves behavior. To investigate the impact of AF1235 addition on the hysteresis loop, i.e., the area between the upward and downward curve, many experimental runs were carried out. The area under the upward curve and downward curve rises marginally with AF1235 up to 103 ppm and then increases strongly with AF1235 concentration up to 104 ppm. For the whole range of the AF1235 addition, the ramp up curve is slightly above the ramp down curve providing a fixotropic area for all tested AF1235 solutions. Modeling analysis was completed for all the examined aqueous solutions of AF1235 and the results can be presented by equation 3 with the regression coefficient R2 equals 0.98. The fixotropic measurement in PAS slash S and X is the material addition in PPM. Fixotropic area equals 272E, 0.000104X, 3. To address the impact of the oil addition on the fixotropic activities, figures 2 to 3 display the real grams behaviors of low and high AF1235 concentrations in the existence of two crude oil concentrations of 25% and 75% in comparison with their polymer solutions, respectively. As can be concluded from figures 2 to 3, the occurrence of oil considerably upsurges the real gram profiles and consequently influences the hysteresis area. Figure 1, 
without crude oil addition, illustrates that the ramp up cycle is positioned over the ramp down cycle for the aqueous solutions of AF1235. Conversely, a reverse behavior is noticed for the crude oil emulsions of AF1235 as can be resulted from figures 2 to 3. These figures display a slight anti-fixotropic profile of the oil AF1235 emulsions which is the opposite to the result of the AF1235 aqueous solutions in figure 1. Figures 2 3 exhibit that the descending curve is located slightly above the ascending curve in which it is called the anti-fixotropic response due to the existence of the crude oil. This behavior was reported over a limited shear rate range. For the lower to medium concentrations of AF1235, i.e. up to 5000 ppm, the anti-fixotropic shear rate range is 700 to 100 S1. While, for the greater addition of 104 ppm AF1235, the anti-fixotropic range is 700 to 300 S1. This sort of activities can be referred to the roles of the Brownian effect and the shear-influenced consequence. The first effect due to the Brownian motion of the chaotic motion of molecules created from the destruction of the microarrangement being affected. This kind of continuous chaotic mobility causes the molecules to transport to certain sites to be attached to the microassembly, Barnes, 1997. Additionally, the next effect which is the shear influence will take place in the ramp down set. During the descending period of decreasing shear rate cycle, the shear influence promotes the crude oil dues to recollect their novel form to boost the reforming method of the examined emulsion, Kawashima ETAL, 1991. To emphasize these outcomes, this work examines the fixotropic area in pa s of the polymer solutions and oil emulsions measured by the software associated with the RS100 machine. These measurements are reported in Table 1 as function of the concentration of each AF1235 in crude oil. From the concluded results, the more oil accumulation into the polymer solution the more gradual departure of the ramp down curve from the lower position to the upper position WRT the ramp up cycle which enhances the degree of the emulsion restructuring. 3.2 Fixotropic behavior of xanthan aqueous solutions in crude oil emulsions. The fixotropic behaviors for 500 and 5000 ppm sigma aqueous solutions are demonstrated in figure 4 to show the fixotropic behavior of two different concentrations of xanthan material. Figure 4 displays the rising and sliding cycles developed by the shear rate ramp cycles. It shows that the sigma liquids develop fixotropic activities, in which the upward cycle are located above the downward profiles. Furthermore, the xanthan addition shows a significant effect on the response profile in which the greater the polymer addition the greater cycles develop. To investigate the influence of the xanthan addition on the development of the ramp up and ramp down cycles, the fitting analysis was conducted following. Rising and sliding profiles in the presence of 500 ppm of sigma liquid. As the result of this figure, the more addition of oil into the 500 ppm sigma solution causes a significant rise of the flow rheograms. Figure 6 shows similar fixotropic behavior for more xanthan gum accumulation of 5000 ppm in oil occurrence. Figure 6 illustrates the fixotropic activities for oil addition of 25% and 75%, respectively. For the high concentration of 5000 ppm of sigma gum, the real grams behaviors are similar to those. To explain the influence of oil existence on the fixotropic results in terms of air amp up and air amp down, figure 7 shows the reliance of the air amp up and air amp down cycles on the oil addition for the 500 and 5000 ppm sigma concentrations. Figure 7 shows, firstly, that the ascending curves for the aqueous solutions are slightly above the descending curves. Secondly, the variances among the ramp up and ramp down phases gradually diminish with accumulation of more oil, and subsequently the fixotropic results marginally declines in the presence of oil status. Within the duration of the descending period, the more accumulation of oil phase enhances the recapture mechanism of the initial assembly status of the oil liquid mixture due to the effects of both of Brownian and the shear influence of the oil droplets. 3.3 Fixotropic Comparison of AF1235 and Sigma Solutions in Emulsions The detailed explanation of the fixotropic descriptions for aqueous solutions and oil emulsions of AF1235 and Sigma polymers are presented in the preceding parts. It is necessary for the present work to examine the matches and changes in the fixotropic behaviors of the examined solutions and oil emulsions. Figures 8 and 8b illustrate the fixotropic behaviors of AF1235 and Sigma aqueous solutions with low and high concentrations of 500 ppm and 5000 ppm respectively as typical examples. Figure 8 displays that the fixotropic cycles for low concentration of 500 ppm, as can be concluded, the two different aqueous solutions are almost coincide on top of each other and show similar behavior for both of AF1235 and Sigma aqueous solutions. On the other hand for the more addition of 5000 ppm, figure 8b shows that the ascending descending real grams behavior of AF1235 solution is higher than the corresponding behavior reported by the Sigma aqueous solution. Furthermore, Figure 8 displays that the ramp-up cycles are positioned overhead the ramp-down cycles for both solutions of. To address the effect of the whole examined range of polymer addition on the fixotropic activities of both tested materials, Figure 9 illustrates the results of the area of the ramp-up cycle and the ramp-down cycle versus the polymer addition of the AF1235 and Sigma aqueous solutions. For the polymer addition of 1000 ppm, there is no significant differences between the areas reported for both tested polymer materials as can be determined from Figure 9. For polymer addition beyond 1000 ppm, the areas reported for the alkyl-flood aqueous solutions are considerably higher than those reported by the xanthan solutions. This result is much more pronounced with polymer concentration. Furthermore, Figure 9 displays that the fixotropic area, i.e. the hysteresis loop, for the alkyl flood solutions is marginally higher than the fixotropic area exhibited for the xanthan solutions. Figures 10a and 10b show the outcome of the oil presence on the fixotropic behavior of the 5000 ppm of alkyl flood and xanthan solutions, respectively. The ramp up and ramp down cycles of low oil emulsion, i.e. 25% crude oil concentration, and high oil emulsion, i.e. 75% oil concentration, are reported in figures 10a and 10b for the same polymer concentration of AF1235 and sigma. For both cases of low and high oil additions, the real gram behavior of oil AF1235 case is considerably upper than the one reported for the oil sigma case for the whole assigned shear rate. Moreover, for the case of AF1235, the addition of 25% crude oil causes the descending curve moves closer to the ascending one creating either a very narrow gap between the ascending and descending or a full coincidence of the ascending and descending cycles. However, the more addition of oil, i.e. 75% crude oil AF1235 emulsion, the descending curve moves further away from the ascending curve creating a larger loop of anti-fixotropic activities for the shear rate of 700 to 100 S1. Comparable remarks can be reached for the sigma emulsions. In the situation of 25% oil sigma emulsion, the descending curve located lower than the ascending cycle resulting a fixotropic behavior. However, 
for the 75% oil sigma emulsion, the descending curve moves above the ascending curve leading to anti-fixotropic profile over the shear rate of 700 to 200 S1. Therefore, the addition of high crude oil concentration, i.e. 75%, to the polymer solutions of both polymers develops the real gram profile to transform from fixotropic activities as in the figure 8 to the anti-fixotropic cases in the figure 10b due to the results of the Brownian effect and the shear influenced effect. To investigate the influence of oil on the fixotropic activities of both tested polymer solutions over the whole examined range of polymer concentrations up to 104 ppm, figure 11 illustrates the areas of the ramp up and ramp down against polymer concentration. Two oil additions of 25% and 75% were studied to monitor the fixotropic behavior of different polymer solutions. At low and high crude oil concentrations. For the lower oil concentration of 25%, figure 11 shows that the ramp up curve is noticeably above the ramp down curve for the xanthan emulsions exhibiting fixotropic behavior as concluded earlier. However, for the alkyl flood solutions, the discrepancies between the ramp up and the ramp down cycles reported for aqueous liquids in figure 9 are significantly diminished by the addition of 25% crude oil. In order to emphasize the role of crude oil in the study of fixotropic behavior, higher crude oil concentration of 75% was investigated in both polymer solutions of sigma and AF1235. The experimental results of the fixotropic behavior of both tested polymer solutions and the occurrence of 75% oil are revealed in figure 11b. As can be found, the existence of more oil addition leads to further departure of both emulsions from the fixotropic behavior of the polymer solutions toward the anti-fixotropic behaviors. These consequences can be attributed to the influence of the Brownian effect and the shear influenced effect on the crude oil restructure mechanism as. Four conclusions. The fixotropic behavior of xanthan and alkyl flood solutions and their emulsions with crude oil was studied. The low and high polymer concentrations of AF1235 aqueous solutions exhibit fixotropic behavior. The area under the upward and downward curves rises slightly with AF1235 concentration up to 103 ppm and then increases strongly up to 104 ppm. The addition of crude oil into AF1235 solutions rise their real gram behavior and influence the hysteresis area as well. The presence of crude oil within the AF1235 aqueous solutions exhibit anti-fixotropic behavior. Sigma aqueous solutions exhibit fixotropic activities for the tested xanthan additions. The occurrence of the oil inside the xanthan gum of sigma solutions leads to a significant upsurge of the flow rheograms. The differences between the upward curves and downward curves gradually decreases with the addition of crude oil, and thus the fixotropic area gradually declines with the presence of oil dispersed status. For addition of less than 1000 ppm, the two aqueous solutions of AF1235 and sigma gum display almost similar fixotropic behavior. For concentration higher than 1000 ppm, the aqueous solution of AF1235 provides higher fixotropic rheogram curves than the other solution of sigma gum. The hysteresis loops for the alkyl flood solutions are slightly higher than the fixotropic area exhibited by the xanthan solutions. The accumulation of 75% oil addition within the liquid solutions of both polymers results the formation of the anti-fixotropic behavior instead of fixotropic profiles as in the case of aqueous solutions of both polymers.